Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. In my previous videos, we saw how to download SQL Server and how to install SQL Server. And in the next videos, we saw how to create a new database and add new tables and do some changes on those tables. In today's video, we'll see how to create a backup of a database and how to restore the backup of that database. Okay, so let me take you to SSMS where we can see uh, we have a database over here, Testman DB right and if I expand it I can we can see that you know there is a table dbo dot employ okay so let us take the backup of this database for taking the backup what you have to do is you have to right click on the database and click on task and then select backup a pop-up window will open here so here you can reselect the database if you want the recovery model is full so the recovery model you can change from here itself okay so right now it is full don't worry about that so backup type there are three types of backups you can take one is full it will take the full backup of the database second is differential so if you have already taken a full backup of a database you can take differential backup so it will only take the backup of the objects changed after the full backup is taken previously similar is the transaction logs so it will take only the backup of those transaction logs which have changed after the previous transaction log backup okay so backup component is our database and and the destination is disk Okay, and this is the location where the database backup is kept by default. This is under C, Program Files, Microsoft SQL Server and these uh, files. So you can even remove this location. You can just click on remove and add a new location of your choice, right? So what I'll do is I'll move away from the C drive and, uh, and place the backup in D drive uh, SQL folder. And let me type the backup name. BAK so the database name is testman DB so I have kept the similar name with BAK extension you can click on OK again OK and the new name is reflected here okay so one option is to you know just click on OK it will take the database other option is to you know if you script out this thing it will give you a SQL query to take the backup okay so let me show you how does this query look like so backup database testman DB to where to this location okay with no format no in it the name of this skip the these are some of the options okay and so this is the way you know you can uh, take backup either from the ssms or from the sql query okay so let's just now take backup from ssms over here the database backup is taken successfully okay let me go to the location right so here the database backup is taken okay and if i let let me drop this delete this file and take the backup from the SQL file right I'll just execute it okay and it shows that you know the process completed within uh, these uh, seconds microseconds and the same backup is taken here again okay now this same query you can use to backup other databases like AdventureWorks 2014 right so what I'll do is I'll replace the testman DB with this AdventureWorks 2014 so you can directly drag it here and drop it here and I will remove the testman DB name Okay, change the backup file name so that it won't overwrite your previously back taken backup. Okay, and here also, right? So let me execute it. Okay, and see within one second it has taken backup of AdventureWorks also, right? So these two backup files are created over here in this folder, right? So this is the way you can take backup from the GUI tool or the SQL script right okay now now let's restore the database right so we have created these two databases backups here now let's try to restore testman DB backup file right so what you can do is you can right click on databases and just click on this option restore database okay so a new pop-up window comes up over here okay here you have to click on device right and click on this button and click on add it will take you to the default backup location of C drive program files ms sql server we have to go to the that is this drive okay so i'll select testman db backup click ok again click ok okay so we already have a database here so let's try to create the database with some different name because it will otherwise conflict okay and just you know uh, just check the these things backup sets to restore and just uh, see you know the file name uh, that are changed so now the file name will be testman db2 so it has suffixed the 2 here right on the mdf file mdf file is the master data file file where your data is stored 
and this is the LDF file so DB2 so it is suffix 2 over here also LDF file is the log data file okay and uh, within options you can just ignore this uh, tail log, log backup right so I'll just uh, unselect it okay now again here you there are two options either you can click on OK or you can script out the whole task right so let me script out the thing before I click OK okay so this will put the query over here use master then go restore database from disk here this location right where the database was taken then with file equal to one then move testman db to this location and move lock to this location no unload stats equal to five right these are some other options and this is the query right to restore the database backup right now it's your choice to click here or to click here right so if I just click here says that database testman DB2 restored successfully okay and you can see here right so the same employee table you will be seeing over here right so whatever the changes were done here in this database and uh, uh, you will be seeing the same changes over here in this database that is restored just now okay let me drop this database okay and let me restore this database not via the GUI but via the restore script right just execute it okay and if you see here and you will see here and you will see here the uh, process and it is completed right and if I refresh it you will see the same database coming over here okay so this is it and you know as you see it is very simple to take a backup of a database and to restore a backup of a database right in uh, the next videos we'll try to see some similar things and please stay tuned for that please let me know your comments and suggestions and please subscribe by subscribing you'll get to know about the latest videos that I put in here okay thanks a lot for watching have a good day